Now to a Central Florida woman driving in the fast lane with a career in the automotive industry. The first black woman to become general manager of a Ford dealership in the United States lives and works in Orlando. Teresa Horge told me she credits her work ethic and her dedication for pushing her to this historical milestone. It's something I don't take for granted and just am still pinching myself. The days are only going to be what we put in it. Teresa Horge still can't believe she's making history while she lives out her dream with this new title. First African-American female general manager of a Ford dealership in the United States. Horge became general manager of Greenway Ford in Orlando in February of 2022. She knew it wouldn't be easy rising to the top in the automotive industry, a field where you rarely see a woman in leadership. Even more rare, seeing a woman who looks like Horge. Take me back to your college days and then just ending up here, the work, the tears, the sleepless nights, everything that you put in to get to this point. I didn't grow up with a, a you know, with everything all laid out. I grew up in West Tampa um, and I was the oldest of six. And so my parents were younger when they had me and they struggled. They, as they were figuring out life, I was growing up. I knew I didn't want to be poor. I knew I didn't want to wake up and not know what I was going to eat, and I knew I wanted a better life for myself. And my parents, fortunately, always emphasized the importance of education. Horge went to college at Howard University in Washington, D.C., hoping to nail down a scholarship. After getting a 4.0 GPA her first semester, she came home for Christmas, only to find out she was pregnant with her first child. I went back to Howard, didn't tell anyone I was pregnant. But I did what I always knew um, to do, and that is operated with the spirit of excellence. I went to my classes even that much more determined to really shine, um, to hope somehow I'd get a scholarship. While it was a blessing, Horge wasn't going to let anything get in her way. She ended up getting a full scholarship and graduated from Howard with honors. That launched her career with Ford Motor Company. She started in the regional sales office in 1998 and worked her way up. If it's got my name associated with it, I always wanted to put my best foot forward. And that's what's also enabled me to excel in an industry um, where there are not very many females and there are not very many individuals who look like myself. Five years into her career at Greenway, Horge went to the vice president, one of her mentors, and said, she wanted to get her master's degree. Horge listened to her mentor and went back to school, but not for her master's. She became a lawyer. Horge tells me none of this would have been possible without the support of her mentors, her family, especially her grandmother, who she says taught her the basic principles of life. It's nice to be nice, right? To work hard to get what you want. To not let um, any negativity hold you back to walk in faith and, and trust the Lord. What do you hope kids learn from you by watching you, by hearing your story, seeing your journey, knowing that things didn't come easily and that's okay? There is nothing you can't accomplish if you really put your mind to it. The first step is believing that you can. The second step is knowing that life is going to come with challenges. It's not whether they'll come, it's how you handle it.